Our first order of business when we receive a new Kamado Joe grill is to unpackage. Uh, the, the grill comes on a pallet and a cardboard box with tie wraps on it. So the first thing we're going to do is cut these tie wraps loose and have a look inside. With a pair of scissors, you want to cut each tie wrap. After you've removed the retaining straps from the box, you simply lift the lid off, set it aside, and then each of the four walls of the box will lift right out, making it very easy to access all of the items inside the box. After you've removed all the cardboard, you want to take all the pieces apart and set them aside and remove all of the plastic. Once all of the plastic is removed, you want to open the Joe and remove the parts that are packaged inside the grill and set them aside. Once those pieces are removed, you want to remove the packaging material from the ceramics inside and lift the ceramic pieces out and be very careful with these. Once everything else is removed, you will need some assistance to lift the Kamado out of the cart and one thing is very important these side table hinges here do not lift the grill by the side table hinges you will want to lift by the rear hinge and through the open air vent on the bottom after you've removed the Kamado from the packaging the next step is to take the cart base out and remove the plastic and also attached to the cart base you will find a little plastic bag that's got four screws in it we'll want to remove those and then for ease of assembly you want to lock the two locking casters so the cart won't move when your cart's secured in place you want to take the top part of the cradle and set it in each of the four holes and push it down in good and tight. Once your cart is together, you take the four screws that came fastened to the cart and with a Phillips head screwdriver, fasten those screws in place to hold the cart together. Once you have the cart together, you use the same lifting technique with some help to uh, lift the Kamado right into the cart you want to set the front side with the handle over the locking wheels on the bottom and make sure that your air vent is uh, visible to the front side of the grill. Now that we have our grill in the cart, you want to open the lid and we're going to put the ceramic pieces back in the grill starting with the firebox. And the firebox has a vent opening on the front so it needs to be oriented to the front side of the grill where it lines up with the air vent at the bottom. And then we will follow that by setting the fire ring right on top of the firebox. Once our ceramic pieces are back in, we will reinstall our ash catcher tray, and that's going to require putting it in at an angle, lifting up slightly, lifting up slightly on the firebox and dropping the tray in place. And then through the opened lower air vent, we're going to uh, take our ash removal box and slide it right into place. The next piece that goes in is our cast iron charcoal grate. It sets right flush on the bottom of the firebox. Once the charcoal grate is in place, it's time to start installing the pieces of the Kamado Joe Divide and Conquer flexible cooking system. And we'll start by setting the main rack right on top of the firebox. And the pieces that come with the Divide and Conquer flexible cooking system are the split heat deflectors that sit on the bottom rack. There's two pieces to that. And then there are two stainless steel 
heavy duty half moon grills that can sit either in the lower position or the higher position which will set this one over here in the higher position where you can set up multiple levels of cooking. After the flexible cooking rack system is installed, we'll take the cast iron top vent and set it right on top. And it fits right on flush and it fits snugly with the gasket material that's provided. To complete the setup of our Kamado Joe Classic, we're going to install the bamboo side tables on the flanges that are right on the side of the grill. They just slip right in. Once you finish the assembly on your Joe, the final piece you want to look at is a very important piece. We need to take a look at both of these nuts right here and make sure that they're tight. These nuts hold the bands that hold the lid on, so we're going to slip an adjustable wrench over those and see if those will turn. They're going to turn just a little bit, so we're going to turn those and make sure that they're good and tight and that they're not going to turn any. And with the completion of our side table installation, our Kamado Joe is ready to cook.